on the main floor now. This is one of the oldie heat uh, heaters, rather. Easy home heaters, 400 watts. This is red. I also have a gray one. Simple switch on the back. I use this by the video editing desk. It's just enough. This heater also seems to just put out just enough heat. I saw 112 there, 118, 133, 145. This puts out just enough heat for those days where the floor is like really cold. So that seems to work really well. And I have another one of these in the office. So here in the office, this is the gray one, exactly the same. I liked it so much I bought a second one. So we'll turn that on. The loud noise you hear is my desktop. Yes, it always runs the fan at that speed. Because bad capacitors. But it works. Hundred and fourteen, hundred thirty-four, one forty-four. I saw one forty-five, one fifty. So this one works great, also, just like the uh, red one. Only on extremely frozen D days will I actually use this one, the Polonis fifteen hundred watt heater. The knob has yellowed. The light on it broke. I remounted it through the outside because it wouldn't stay on the inside anymore. How this shit breaks, I don't know. This thing was a piece of junk and I actually had to exchange this when I first got it. Uh, after playing with it, I stole the fan in it and it promptly melted the grill. As soon as I saw that, I shut it off, took it back and they exchanged it not knowing the difference. This has a fan. It's very quiet and has metal blades. And then we can go ahead and turn that to low. It's getting warm. I don't remember the wattage on low. I'm seeing a pretty solid 80 to 90 degrees, 93 I had seen. So that's all good. We'll go to medium. Give that a minute. Over a hundred, one oh six, one oh seven, one ten. And high, let that cook for a second there. One thirty, the numbers that this is putting out are not impressive. But it certainly is, because heaters are 100% efficient, you are getting 1,500 watts worth of heat coming out of here. So, it's, uh, it's not really a fair comparison with the uh, temp gun on this, because it sort of broadcasts it out being a heater fan. It broadcasts it out over a larger area. Years ago, in the earlier days of YouTube, when I started out, I would make a video and there would be no editing required. Generally, the little channels didn't edit their videos or do anything with it. And uh, we had the YouTube video editor and I would just slam all the clips in there in sequential order and hit publish. And I'd wait, YouTube would process it and there's the video. And 
the sound on the camera would have the sound of the button on the camera clicking and stuff like that but times have changed on YouTube and even the smaller channels are editing their videos I've grown greatly since those days but since I need to edit every single video that I publish I realized I forgot one and that's this here another Easy Home Aldi heater. This is like a radiator heater. There's a squirrel cage fan in there. Kind of hard to see, but it's down in there. This is a radiant heater. Air comes in underneath it and just comes by comes out by convection. It actually works pretty well. This is another great like room heater. And uh, this one had some interesting features to it. You have your different switches for your wattages and whatnot. Your thermostat. And it also has an electromechanical timer that actually turns and does its thing and it's awesome because you never ever ever find that in a heater nowadays you'll never see that it'll all be China controlled this is a Chinese mechanism also but I still think it's absolutely awesome that it has an electromechanical timer so we'll turn the the fan on and then it looks like that's low then you could do turn that off that one's medium and then both would be high. I'll come around here, I'll turn on the fan. It's very quiet. There's just a little bit of as it spins up for whatever reason. I'll leave the fan on and I'll put it on low. There is the heat. The fan in here helps to draw the air in underneath and blow it out the top. It only blows in this area, but the whole thing, it, it, it generally does help it work a lot better. If they had a large squirrel cage that ran the length of it, that might have been a lot better design. But anyway, this is on low. I saw 107, 109, 110, 113. I see Molly, I see Billy, I see John, I see Sally. Oh wait, wrong show. Does anybody get the reference? No, I know. All you heater twerps don't get the reference. It's only the old fucking people like me that get it. We'll turn that off. By the way, these are all lit. Turn that one on. And let that heat up for just a moment. So medium we're seeing 127, 129, 131. So there's that. And now both. There we go. One thirty, one forty five, one forty six. 148, 152. So, again, the temperature gun just doesn't, because, like, I don't know, it just, it doesn't give you the best reading in a lot of circumstances, but it gives you an idea. For what it's worth anyway that was this one and in the living room we have this myuo heater 
950 uh, watts. It has low and high. It has a switch on the back here. A main switch and tip over and all that great shit. Turn it on, it beeps. Can't really see it, and if I tip it, you won't be able to. But there's a faint red glow. It comes on and high. I'm seeing 117. 127, 131, 136, 150. It's belting out the heat pretty good. Can go to low, which makes it almost silent. And uh, I'll have to leave that for a moment to cool off, I guess. Even on low, it's quite powerful. I forget the wattage draw on low. I saw 200 and change. It was actually almost hotter on low. 238. Youch! And one more. You can see it turns blue. And that's just the fan. You can also hit swing. These touch controls are like many others where they don't work too, too well. And that'll go back and forth. Yay. Hooray. And that does that. We'll go back to high. There's a relay that clicked. And then when you turn it off, it keeps the fan running for 15 seconds or so. And that cools the element off. And then it shuts off. Also in the living room is the Lasco My Heat. This heater has not been used in a few years, certainly. This is the purple one. I also have one in blue. It's on. It's not very loud, doesn't put out much heat, but it's usually just almost enough in a lot of circumstances. There's no tip over, I think I just mentioned. And the heat output, 129, 149 even, 167, 177, 193. This puts out heat, but because of the small outlet, it, it's best to use on a desk. It's not the greatest heater for the floor, but uh, they did use a neon light in there, which I appreciate. Now we'll go to the basement.